What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. In today's video what we're going to do is have a little bit of a walkthrough of my upper body but back emphasis workout. Uh, to those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to my home gym. This is where I train when I'm not at university. So if you're new from in and around body power or any time, thank you so much for tuning in. You will not regret it. And let's get into today's walkthrough. Taking it nice and steady, getting nicely warmed up using the long bar here, which attaches to both sides. Because uh, if we don't, we don't actually have a lat pull down, so we use this. Works well, just as good. But what I love especially about it is that if we just come a little bit closer around here, and um, if you're lying down like this and you're not really focusing on that mind to muscle connection, if you watch the two cables, you can end up pulling down like this. It really makes you focus on pulling from the lats and focusing on keeping it nice and even and getting that nice even contraction for that nice even muscle growth. So that is what I love about this. I mean, it's not as good, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, as a normal lap pull down, but it does the job and uh, works pretty well if you ask me. So what we're gonna do now is just do one more warm up set and then we'll move on to the heavy lap pull down sets and then we'll go on to the rest of the back movements. Set one guys, keeping the form nice and solid from the start of the workout. Start as you mean to go on, pulling from the elbows, squeezing the lats at the bottom, holding one, two, and controlling the negative. We don't want to be swinging like this, especially when it's a free motion, got nothing locking us in place, so we're really relying on that mind to muscle connection. Really squeezing the lats, one, two, with a slow release. See, that should be difficult if you really focus on that mind to muscle connection. You're going to hear that term a lot throughout this uh, walkthrough, guys. So we're going to have 60 second rest, two more sets, and then on to the next exercise. Right, guys, so I just realized that actually I didn't tell you what I did to warm up, but that is because actually these videos tend to be a bit longer than my normal videos, and so I'm kind of keeping it to a minimum. Um, what I did normally is just general mobility stuff, movements of the shoulders, and what I do before every single workout is a military press. Just because I have such bad shoulder mobility, uh, I tend it, it helps free it up and gets more blood in the uh, in the area, and so I feel that that personally helps me. Whether that's a placebo effect or not, I don't care. It helps me nevertheless. So other than that, I tend to do like just literally just move my arms and move my legs and stuff because I have terrible elbows and terrible knees like in terms of mobility and pain and stuff and so if I do just literally stuff like this it gets the elbows used to moving uh, and that definitely helps especially when I'm training back and stuff because you use a lot of your biceps obviously you're pulling and so you're using your arms a lot just find it helps me so if you want give it a go if you don't don't. Next movement guys is overhead press what I'm doing is just doing one more warm up set Getting that mind to muscle connection again, told you we're gonna hear it a lot. And just really preparing my body just for the heavy sets. And as always, I won't put it in, but I'll do an in-between set. We'll work up to 60 kilos, but for a warm-up, we'll do 40, and then we'll go straight over to 60. <clears throat> Okay, some of you guys will be wondering why I've gone straight from lat pull down to shoulder press. If you're new to the channel, you, you won't know my training program. I've trained five times a week, three upper body and two lower bodies. One with chest emphasis, one with shoulder and one with back. This is the back emphasis, but you still hit the entire upper body. Activating every muscle group twice a week because that is optimal. There's a lot of science behind that. If you don't believe me, go look it up. So uh, this is what I do, I'll go straight on to uh, shoulder press, but then we'll move back to a back movement. We'll go from there. Right, guys, next exercise is this row. I've just kind of improvi improvising here, making training a little bit more interesting. I've done it once or twice. I don't think I put it in a video before, though. Basically, it's just simulating a seated row, but using your core, keeping yourself nice and steady. Again, same as the, as the lat pull down as any back exercise. You want to pull from the from the elbows and really squeeze the lats at the back, contra contracting one, two, and then slow negative as well, guys. So I don't like to go too heavy on this because I feel like if I go too heavy, I end up swinging like this. And so 
that's, how, that's just how you cause injuries. So just slow it down, nice controlled tempo. One, two, control negative. Oh. So after this set, guys, as I said before, oh, Jesus Christ. Right, 60 second rest, and then we'll move on to two more sets of that, and then I think I forget what the next exercise is, but I guess we'll find out. Next movement, guys, chest flies. Really focusing on keeping the tension on the chest. I tend not to come too far back, because that puts more strain on my shoulders, and I find I end up shrugging forwards. So keep it, I tend to come back just before my shoulder, but something you're gonna have to figure out for yourselves, guys. It'll come with time. You'll get to know your own body, get to know what works and what doesn't for you. So same form applies. Squeeze one, two, and nice slow control negative. One, two. One, two. One, two. I tend to do more eight to 10 reps rather than six to eight when it comes to flies. I just feel like it gives me a better pump. Uh, obviously higher volume, more blood going into the muscles, <sighs> means for a better pump. Not always necessarily, but again, that's what works for me. You gotta find what works for you guys. Also, if you guys want me to do a restock of these hats, they actually sold out on the last launch. So let me know in the comment section or DM me or anything like that if you want to do a restock because I know there's a few of you who actually missed out because they sold out really fast. I was really impressed with the uh, with the popularity of them and had really good feedback. So let me know in the comment section. What we're going to do now, two more sets of this, 60 second rest again in between and then we'll move on to one more back movement. Next movement guys, straight arm pull down. Uh, really want to push your chest out for this one. Oh, once you've completed the movement, just I feel it helps you get that full range of, mo uh, of mo motion. So don't be scared to try it out, guys. You look a bit funny, kind of pushing your chest out, but if it helps get that full range of motion, then there's no problems if you ask me. So you want to have your feet shoulder width apart, as you guys can see there. Nice and, nice and stable, and I don't even really grip it. Some people really focus on gripping the, bo the bar as hard as they can, but I tend not to do that. So I tend to make it more of a tricep push down if I do that. So I pull the bar out, make sure I'm nice and stable, kind of even, almost like, I think people call it a suicide grip. And then pull down, pushing that chest out, controlling that negative. So after this guys, two more sets. Oh, oh that's good, this is good. I'm, I'm a bit out of breath at the end of these clips guys. But that's the way it should be because you should be picking a weight that's just right so that you're not thinking it's too easy and going, well, that was really easy. And you're not picking a weight that's too heavy that you're shrugging or anything like that. That for me right now is the ideal weight. And then we're going to use progressive overload over the weeks, over the months and over the years to hopefully increase that week by week or day by day. So we've got another 60 second rest, two more sets, let's go. Next movement guys, you guys know this well by now if you've been watching the channel for a while. Bicep, tricep, superset. I've been doing this a lot, and as you can see, I've slowly increased the weight. Uh, I used to just have fives on the side. Now there's a five and a 2.5. It's still not made to be heavy, but you don't need to go heavy at all because what you need to focus on is getting that real squeeze in the bicep and controlling the negative. I, I bet you guys are tired of hearing that. I told you I would say it a lot, a lot, a lot because it's important. If it wasn't important, then people like Kai Green, Jay Cutler, everyone like that, Massive bodybuilders wouldn't talk about it every single opportunity. So, coming up, squeezing the biceps at the top, nice controlled, negative. And make sure we get that full extension at the bottom, we're not stopping here, we're going all the way to the bottom, starting the movement again. As I say guys, we're going to be supersetting that oh, with tricep, oh, this is getting tiring now. I think I've done too many reps there, I do 10 on each. So we're going to be supersetting that with tricep uh, overhead extensions. So I like to grab the easy bar here, just nice comfortable grip for myself. Again, that'll be something that you have to figure out, just like the chest flies, just like most of these things, guys. You have to figure out what works for you. So again, nice wide, steady base, controlled, explode, controlled, push, controlled, and push. And you'll see I keep the bar nice and straight. It's not going from one side and then to the other. Coming down nice and straight, and then the same on the opposite way. 
as well. Ten reps of your given weight is what I'm doing. Again, you can figure figure out what rep range works best for you, but this is what works best for me. I found, guys. I've lost count. Two more for good measure. One, two. That's another tip I should give you guys as well. If you if you're not sure how many reps you've done or how many sets you've done, always do one more. Always do. Never assume that you're finished. Always think, okay, right, I've lost count here, like I just did, I have done a few times over this walkthrough, which I realise might not look that good, but it happens, guys, when you have to think about a million and one uh, things all at once. So, if you're not sure how, how many reps you've done, if you're like, I think that's six, imagine you're doing a row, I think that's six, I'm like, I'm aiming for eight, but I'm not sure, so I'll do ten, I'll go up to ten, I'll do four more, just to make sure, and it, if anything, it's only going to benefit you, make sure that you get more volume in, and have a better workout, better pump, more muscle growth over time, guys. So, that's that. We're going to have one more set, uh, two more sets, sorry, and then one more exercise after that. Final set, guys. We're finishing off with some hammer curls, just to even it out. Did some uh, straight arm, straight arm curls, some supinated curls like this. Now we're doing some hammer curls, just to hit the bicep from both angles. If you want me to do a separate, uh, separate video on bicep training or just arm training in general, then let me know in the comment section uh, and I'll be sure to get on that guys, I'll do it if it's in demand. So, 10 reps, nice and steady, squeeze at the top and control the negative. One, two, control the negative. Again, it doesn't have to be too heavy because otherwise you'll find yourself doing this and then you're just gonna end up fucking your back up or something or I don't know, your shoulder or you'll end up injuring something. So just take it nice and steady, nice controlled reps just to burn out at the end of this workout. There we go. Okay guys, so that is gonna conclude today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. You'll be seeing me in here a hell of a lot more over the next few weeks because unfortunately, unfortunately so, second year of uni is coming to an end. So I will be back here, back in my home gym. But then at the same time, there's pros and cons to that because this is my favourite place on earth to train. So, if you want to see me more training more in this gym, then leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, remember, no regrets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.